Hey everyone, Tim with Tim's Computer Repair again here. I've got a Dell All-in-One. This is an Inspiron 3477. We are going to be upgrading the drive on this computer. This computer has an actual one terabyte um, regular hard drive, mechanical. We're going to upgrade this to a 500 gig SSD. I'm upgrading to a 500 gig simply because the few years that the customers had this computer, they're only using a fraction of that one terabyte and they want to save a little money. So there's nothing wrong with putting a 500 gig SSD in there. You're going to get the benefits of the speed of the SSD and there's plenty of a uh, data space on there for their, that meets their needs, no doubt. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to want to do here is lay this guy down, face down. You want some kind of soft padding or something to lay this face down on just to protect the front glass a bit. I'm going to lay it straight down on its face like this. So we're going to go ahead at this point. There's a, there's a screw here that we're going to take off and we're going to remove this bottom stand here. It comes right off. Kind of put it up on the side a little bit so you can see it a little better but underneath this stand here is a, a plate that can pop right off let's get a spudge pull that right off it comes right off just like that and that's going to expose four screws i'm going to go ahead and remove those screws At that point, our little kickstand there comes right off. At this point, it's kind of shown here in a little bit of a diagram that simply just pry up on this. Now, I don't know why other all-in-one makers, <coughs> HP, I'm not going to mention names, don't make that just as easy as that. Right, let's continue to pop this off here. There we go. I mean, look how easy that was, right? I mean, thanks, Dell. Made that so easy to do. No problem. Other models or other manufacturers just completely make removing that back panel a nightmare. Not so for Dell. So good on Dell for that. Now, that of course exposes our hard drive easy to upgrade your drive on this model HP. Take out the screw. Slide the drive right out. And now we can uh, go ahead and swap this out. From this point we can just remove this drive from here. Here's four screws. then we can just remove the drive. We have our new SSD here, Samsung 870 Evo, 500 gig. Open that up. Put that back into the caddy. Now it might be a little thinner than the original one you had in there, but that's okay. Line up the holes. Let's go ahead and put our screws back in. And there's that. Now we just simply slide our new drive back into place. Like that. Make sure the connections are, are made there. You can miss those sometimes. You think you're in, but you're not. So be sure it fits snugly in there. We can go ahead and put our screw back in here. And then we can Put our cover back on. Now what I'm going to do before I go clamping all this down, I'm actually going to uh, flip it over. I'm going to plug it in here. I'm going to plug a keyboard in. 
I'm going to flip this over where I can see the screen and this will hang off the edge of the table so I'm not resting on these connections here. So, and I want to be able to make sure that this computer sees that drive before I button all this up. All right, got these plugged in here. Let's go ahead and just gently flip it over. Hang that off the edge of the table so we don't rest on it. So I'm basically resting this on the edge of the table down here in my connections. They're not resting on those connections. So I don't want to do any damage to them. So then what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to boot this up real quick into a Windows and see if, um, see if it makes sure it sees the drive. Okay, I'm going to fire this up. Press an F12 here, of course, for Dell. And we're going to boot up to the USB shown there. And let's just go through the steps, the process of acting like we're going to install Windows so we can make sure that that drive is being seen. Okay, we'll accept, next, custom install, and there is our drive, so we now know that our drive is going to be seen. I'm going to just power this, simply power this off. Yep, you just go ahead now and just snap everything back on. All the way around, snap, snap it up. Okay, once you're sure it's snapped all the way around, it looks like it is. And go ahead and put our kickstand here back on. Like that, put our screws in. I'm going to be sure that you come down at an angle, you have these tabs here. You want to be sure you would come down at a proper angle to get those tabs underneath the metal. Let me just slip our little back plate back on, get it underneath the kickstand hinge there, and snap that guy back on. There we go. Now we can stand it up, put our stand back on. We can go ahead and install Windows on our new SSD. I'm quite happy with the fact that Dell made disassembling this all-in-one pretty simple. Tell me what you guys think about that. I mean, I think it's a big deal because I have struggled a lot with trying to get some of these all-in-ones open. I don't know why they make it so difficult. Not so with this particular Dell. I'd like to uh, read your comments about that. Anyways, uh, I hope this helps somebody out. Nice little quick video for anybody trying to upgrade their hard drive to an SSD on this Dell all-in-one Inspiron 3477. Catch you on the next one, everyone. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, see you soon.